Hey guys, and welcome back to another tutorial. It's been a while since I've done one, so uh, this one's going to be an update video on how to make a bathroom, guys. Um, I know you guys probably already know all this, but I have to update mine, guys, because I made mine a long time ago, and I really do not like it. So anyway, so we're going to get along with the tutorial. This is how I build the bathroom. And um, some of it is from other people, and some of it is mixed in with my own idea. But now, it's probably all over. So, anyway, so we're going to need some uh, quartz block, and we're going to need a uh, iron block, and we're going to need a uh, gray terracotta, and then we're going to need a lever, and then we're going to need a quartz step, and then we're going to need an end rod, and then we're going to need an item frame, and then we're going to need, uh, possibly need some, uh, uh, some carpet, light gray carpet. And, uh, this is the button, stone button, that we'll need, a uh, dark oak wood door, you can use any door you want in this tutorial, it really doesn't matter, whatever fits the house or the style that you are doing really so anyway so uh, this is uh, the hopper we'll be using and then this is the bone block we'll be using and then we'll use an iron um, pressure plate and then a stone pressure plate depending on uh, the wall color and whatever so I'll show you guys that later in the video so anyway let's get started we are gonna pick our uh, gray terracotta block and we, this is basically going to represent the um, walls for the um, for the bathroom. So let's uh, do this. Um, okay, so I kind of haven't done this in a while. So, but I kind of remember um, last time I did this tutorial, I made the walls be a uh, stone, I think, and quartz. Anyway, it was a very long time ago. I will probably link it in the description below. That way, so you guys can go and check it out and um, see how uh, bad it was. Anyway, so we're gonna continue. Um, this is also just one quick thing that I could do for a video, so um, I might just speed it up or cut it. I might just cut it actually. Okay guys, so now we got our walls up, and it is actually kind of perfect, I guess, I think. Yes, okay, so we can do this. Um, so anyway, so right now, we're going to add... This is basically going to be the wall for the shower, or the tub, whatever you would call it. Um, then we are going to have... A a wall dividing the toilet and where the sink is. I know some bathrooms do not have that, but I just feel like it's a need. So anyway, so we're going to put the- we're going to start with putting the door right here. It doesn't really matter where you put it, it just- it's your stuff, it's your creation, and it's whatever you would like. So, um, anyway, we're going to make the roof the same block because you guys can make your own roof, and uh, it's however you guys want it. It's not how I am doing it, it's how you guys want it. So, here we go. We're just gonna simply fill this in, and um, this I will not need to cut the video with because it's not gonna be take that long, and it's not gonna be a time waster. So, um,. I just make this sort of thing, I make tutorials, because they're, they're sort of fun for me, I, I don't know why. So anyway, in this next part, we're gonna take the um, quartz block and the iron block, and I'll show you guys what we'll do here. So what we're gonna do is, we're going to kind of, we do not want to uh, put the tile, like, yes, we're making tile guy, but guys, but we're not gonna do it over here because that's gonna be parts of the bathroom, bathtub, sorry. And uh, so we're just gonna do it right here. Um, now you can do different blocks as you please. I just prefer this one because I kind of like the way it looks. 
Um, you could also do it with the the white terracotta. I think this is white terracotta. Yeah, uh, white concrete. You can do it with the white concrete too, because it also looks good with that one. But I prefer the uh, quartz block because it makes it look a little better. So uh, anyway, let's continue this. Um, Okay, so we're almost done guys, here we go, okay so we got this floor done and uh, so now all there is left to do is the block of quartz block and what we're going to do is simply fill these in in the holes where this one is at, where the other blocks are at I should say. But um, this does look better in different texture packs, uh, it just depends on what texture pack you guys prefer. This was just uh, a sort of a quick video I could make, so I didn't put it in city texture pack. Um, I think it looks better in city or like the uh, vanilla texture pack I think is what they call it. So anyway, so we're gonna continue on. Uh, we're going to actually go ahead and do the step because I am not going to do this yet. Um, I kind of did this out of order, but anyway, let's get to it. So what we're going to do is that's going to be for the tub. And um, I think they simply had it like that. But I don't like doing it like that, honestly. So we're just going to improvise here. I'm going to put it like this. And then what we're going to need for the tub is an end rod. Ain't end rod. <laughs> and so we're actually going to simply add that to this. Um, now I don't prefer for, I don't really care about the, the purple or the pinkish um, ends there. If they weren't there, it would be very perfect. And uh, if banners could simply slip onto those rods, it would make it perfect. But since we do not have that, it's not going to work that way. So anyway, so as we're right here, I might as well just do that. Now, most of you guys uh, know this, most of you guys don't, but I prefer to do the toilets like this. I know it's simply weird, but I feel like it actually kind of looks like a toilet on the end. But um, anyway, I'd like to add, um, let me get a quartz block or this block right here, white concrete. I think the white concrete looks a little better right there. So anyway, that is going to be the back of the toilet. I just, I feel like it actually eliminates less, um, like it eliminates, um, I feel like it gets rid of, um, lots of clutter basically because like a lot of toilets I've seen they kind of like take up a lot of space so this has this uh, doesn't take up very much space so we're just gonna go to with that one and um, so now we might as well just move on to the switch this is gonna be our light switch um, whatever you prefer you do not have to add this in here um, this was a recommendation from one of my friends way back a long time ago and uh, they told me, why don't you put a light switch in your bathroom? And I was like, well, I just never, you know, thought about it. So, anyway, so that's basically up to you guys. I normally do not put them in there, so, um, it's, it's just up to you. Um, then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually put the toilet paper on here, and that is when we actually, uh, get our block of bone or bone block whatever it's called uh bone block yeah there we go so we're gonna actually put the button right here you guys see this a lot now because it's more common than it was before so but i prefer to use the bone block because i feel like as you're moving it oh it doesn't move up and down anymore but anyway it just has a certain texture to it if you look it kind of has like a darkish like circle in the middle on the edges which makes it look like um, the toilet paper roll so I prefer to use that block instead of like um, carpet or whatever so um, 
Yeah, so what we're gonna do next is this is basically I was gonna use this for like a lid like demonstration for different like toilets, but we'll get on to that later. I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make this be the um I think I might have made it a little Yeah, see you guys can actually make it how long you want. I'm gonna actually shorten this up a little bit because this is not how big how big I wanted it, so Anyway, let's uh, get to this. Hopefully we can get it done. There we go. Okay, now that's just done even, but I do not care anymore. Okay, so let's... Crap, never mind. Let's just uh, leave it how it was. You know, sometimes you just can't mess with things, guys. And uh, sometimes I have to learn that a lot the hard way. So there we go. We're just gonna keep it like this. Um, there's gonna be a nice carpet in front of there. It's all up to you guys, because I know everyone out there has their own building style, so it's all up to you. Um, a lot of this, I, I really haven't built a bathroom in a long time, but this is basically a little bit of an update video because I have uh, done it a lot than I did before. But that, that just regards what I just said. But anyway. So we're going to take our dark ord. What did I just say? Huh. That sounded weird. Uh, so anyway. We're going to take our dark oak wood. Dark oak uh, door. Sorry about that. It's been a stressful day. So I prefer this door because it actually looks like a house door. But if you want to like do like a modern house, take your uh, uh, birch oak door and uh, that would work just fine. So anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add the faucet for the bathtub. It doesn't matter. Um, I just like try to make it um, look, like, look like a shower. I know, I know it's like kind of uh, hard to do that, but that that's how I, you know, it's it's all right, I guess. But anyway, um, so let's move on. So we're gonna take our hopper, and we are going to take, go ahead and take these. Um, so one of these, it depends on how which one you like, but this is actually going to be the lid. Um, the reason why I use this, guys, is because this actually looks like a toilet lid on the toilet. Because I know some people, they would do this. I, I just do not prefer this. So if you guys do this, I am, my apologies. I do not mean to insult. It's just I don't like to do it. So anyway, that's what most people do. And um, I really do not like that. I prefer this. Um, I, I don't know, it's just something about it. I just love it, guys. So anyway, so I prefer that. You can do uh, this one. It really doesn't matter. Depends on the blocks or the walls. It just, yeah, it doesn't matter, really. So anyway, um, so yes, we're gonna take our hopper. And this hopper is going to actually, uh, I'm gonna put it right here, but you wanna make sure you connect it to the wall. That way so it looks like it's actually uh, has a like a like a pipe going down into the wall down to the basement if it was in a house but um, then we are going to take our you can use any block but I'm just gonna use the white concrete for this because why not I like the whole white and uh, gray theme because I'm more of a modern builder and um, just I don't know it just sticks out to me so we're gonna take our item frames and we're gonna put them on those blocks and then what we're gonna use um, I think I was gonna yes I was gonna um, use this you can use uh, the wooden trap door or the light gray carpet um, now I know they're not completely centered now like no they're completely centered now so um, before when you would put one of these in here they would be more like right here somewhere like right here and it would make it look really good but now it's like more right there so it, we're just gonna have to deal with that until 
to come out with another idea for that. So I I'm just gonna use these because I I just like those better. Um, so we're just gonna go with that, and then so uh, if you guys want, I'm gonna try to experiment here. If you want uh, like a like a curtain like covering your uh, sink because I know in old retro um, bathrooms they used to have little curtains uh, where their uh, sinks were and you could open up those curtains and there would be stuff under there um, instead of cabinets so that's a little idea for you guys right there um, you do not have to do that uh, that is completely up to you so uh, anyway um, what we're gonna do now is the mirror and we're gonna replace that I did not put this in the tutorial but I feel like it is honestly necessary for this um, so I don't really feel like doing the whole reflection stuff right now so but I would normally but this is just a tutorial, quick tutorial video, so um, remember that. So what we're gonna do is just um, put some blocks behind there. You can also put um, like a reflection in there. Uh, basically, you just rebuild the whole room from that angle right there, and then you copy the sink on the other side, which it kind of creates a reflection. So there's our lovely mirror right there, and um, what. I'm gonna. I cannot do this right now because I forgot about one little thing. So we're actually gonna put our light probably back here, and that is when um, our uh, where is it? Uh, right here. On normally I don't use sea lanterns in this texture pack, but in the city texture pack they actually look like lights. So keep that in mind there. So. Um, so next, we are going to need... I think honestly we're done guys, I think. I'll, I'll throw in one more thing for you guys. So, um, let's do that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take some birch oak slabs, and then, uh, quartz stairs, that way it still fix, fits the style of the home and everything like that so we're gonna do that normally I do these in the wooden houses so I really don't know how this is going to turn out so um, bear with me guys right here because this could get ugly yeah this this won't work never mind um, so normally what I would do was I would put the stairs in the corners of the walls and then I would put the slabs in the middle of it which kind of creates um, kind of a decorative roof piece, if I would say. Um, so, yeah, we base. Oh, I forgot to cover something. So, these are the other toilets that um, I was going to show you guys. Um, most people do these. Um, <laughs> okay, so we could do this. I'm gonna get I'm gonna put this one over here. That's the only one closest to stone that I could find. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to get a block there. And we're gonna a quartz block or a concrete block it really does not matter like I said before um, then we're gonna take our stone brick block put that there put that one there pretend that is not there guys wait a second there's a, there's a way I can do that okay so we're gonna basically separate these because um, why not so there we go so we're going to take our uh, wooden pressure plate, put it right there, you got yourself a nice wooden toilet, um, that will go good in like maybe, um, I don't know, Really, it really depends on what wall style you like. 
So uh, anyway, we got that one that I did. And then we got the stone one right there. I would do that one mainly in prisons because they get cruel treatment sometimes. So um, I would use that in prisons. Um, then there's some other ways that we, that I can show you guys real quick. Um, we got the wooden uh, trap door one where you can actually move it. That is a one that people actually like to use a lot and doesn't, they would, you know, but um, I really don't prefer it because it doesn't really look that good to me, um, but I'm not going to try to spread hate here. Um, also, one thing that just really makes me mad, guys, um, it's, I'm, I'm making these videos to help you guys out, um, help you guys out to become better builders, or, or, uh, move on from noob to, uh, pro, and this will help you out a lot. I've seen people build toilets like this, and I'm like, why? But honestly, it really makes me mad. Sometimes I would actually use this for the sink. But now since we got the hopper, I kind of like the hopper better, but some people would do that for like a sink. Sometimes it does look good, but um, I'm just doing some new choices. So anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. Subscribe, like, leave a comment below. I will do some more videos like this hopefully in the future. This was my intention of this channel. So anyway, subscribe, like, leave a comment below, and I will see you guys in the next video.